What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to a, another modern cube draft. Not the biggest fan of modern cube. Modern cube might be one of my least favorite cubes. But, um, hold on, I gotta go to the big screen for a second. I feel like there's the biggest disparity between card quality in Modern Cube. Whereas I think the um, the card quality in things like Vintage and Legacy Cube is a little more level. Whereas in Modern Cube, um, the difference between like a Serum Visions and a Jace the Mind Sculptor or, you know, probably not a great example, but you guys know what I'm saying. Like, like the best cards in Modern are so much better than the worst cards in Modern. So, I prefer companion cubes. I don't even know what that is. Is that a thing? Cheese cubes are delicious. Thank you. Chugrin, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. Apparently this cube is uh, taking its time. Six out of eight, guys. We can do it. Frank, you and Mike B should play co-op Portal. <laughs> Maybe we should. Frank types faster than I can facetious, facetious, facetiously pretend to type, but you can probably say facetiously uh, easier than I can. Facetiously. Facetious. I want to make a character called Lee. I'm going to call him Facetious Lee. I think that'd be a funny name. Do, 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 do. do you think uh, Magic Online should adopt the Super Mario music? Good day, nerds. Word nerd fact of the day. Facetiously has all the vowels in English in order. Oh my god, that's amazing. I feel like I knew that once, but then I didn't know it, and now knowing it again has blown my mind. Did you guys know that Elder Gargaroth has like 50 tickets on Magic Online? <sighs> I like this pack a lot. We got Teferi, we got Gargaroth that we just mentioned, the exorbitant price. Remember when we were talking about this in set review and Rob was like, well, I don't think this card's any good. It doesn't do anything what comes into play. And then uh, I was like, no, I think it's good. And then Rob just got totally wrecked. I'm going to take Teferi. Oh, I remember when he was a middle-aged Gargaroth. It feels like just yesterday. I guess it's Teferi. We'll say Teferi. Oh, wow. Look at this Nicol Bolas art, man. That's wild. Uh, Teferi Luris Inferno Titan. I, I don't like that there's no Signets. I think Signets increase the quality of a cube greatly. 
They help you fix your mana. They let you splash things. They give you something to do on turn Thank two. You. Eric Jardine, what up? Thank you so much for the resub, my dude. Serum Vision is just unexciting in cube. I want to take Nicol Bolas, but I think it's ambitious. I think Inferno Titan is probably correct. We can also take Conclave Tribunal. Isn't this a cube where you just play red, green, red, green, bad stuff and win? Well, let's find out. Oh, Soren Grim Nemesis. Yikes. Also, Kiki Jiki? But there's not going to be Splinter Twin, right? It's just Kiki Jiki. Huh. Teferi's all right. God, you guys love Teferi. I just, I still have not gotten into this Teferi yet. I'm a huge Soren Grim Nemesis fan, though. You know, from way back in the day. I'm a, I'm a Soren, Soren fan from old. I think it's it's probably Teferi, so we don't have to, like, branch out any further. <sighs> Kiki and Inferno Titan does win games. You can also spark double your Teferi. <sighs> I'm gonna, I'll take the Teferi. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Ooh, Sahili Rai. Is the combo in here? Is Felidar Guardian in this format? Can someone explain it to me? If the combo's in the format, I'll take the Sealier Eye because it's perfect color. But isn't one of them banned? Felidar Guardian, okay, so is Sahili Rai and Felidar Guardian, are they both legal and modern? Am I just being, am I just being insane? Oh, I like this. I like that octopus. Mountain and plains. It's probably just Seachrome Coast, even though I don't love these lands. Yeah, I'll just take this guy. Venser? Venser seems great for us. I'll take a Venser. Ooh, Frost Titan. Also Faith Sweaters? Hmm. If Felinar Guardian is banned, how is it in the modern cube? I really don't understand. That doesn't make any sense to me. I want to take face fetters. I think having an answer to like Jace the Mind Sculptor is a little better than like having a another six drop. I think Journey's probably better than Helix. Eh, I don't know how much burn we can get. This could just be this could just kill them in the face. I'm gonna take plain Jace. This is gonna be like a super just got super friends here. Uh Conclave Tribunal came back? Sure. If it was good enough to pick the first time, Spark Double came back. I think that's actually pretty good when we have like a bunch of Planeswalkers and Legendary Creatures. And by a bunch of Legendary Creatures, I mean a Venser. But okay, but you say because it's not constructed, but then like, couldn't they have Umazawa's Jite? <laughs> and like, you know, other cards that are banned? Lava Coil? For sure. For sure. I'll take Octopus because it's the only thing in the pack. Random ding count one. Alright, so we're just hoping to get that Felidar Guardian. I'm going to put this on three because in a perfect world I have a way to cast it for three and it doesn't contribute to my already fat four drop slot. We'll take Champion of Wits. Neither Sahili or the Cat are banned in Modern. Interesting. 
Why did it feel like one of them was banned? Weren't they problematic and one of them got banned? Is this just a fictitious situation that doesn't exist and I'm making it up? I like Flooded. I like Clifftop. I like Chromatic. I like Riftwing. And I like Manalik. I like all of these things. So it's not banned in Modern. You just don't see it? This is so weird. It's, it feels like the... Um, what's the Berenstain Bears thing called? The, the friggin' like... Where you like remember a thing happened, but you're like, no, that didn't really happen. I think it's Strand because I think Tr Clifftop Retreat will come back. It could also just be Mana League. The Mandela effect. That's literally what it feels like. If this is Coalition Relic, I'd be on board. I don't think I can be on board without. I'm going to take the Mana League. I, I just think it's better for our deck. Sort of body and mind. Windbrisk, Breeding Pool, none of these are great for us. Main deck Negate is actually not bad in, in Modern Cube, I feel like. Also, Glenelindra Archmage is also pretty good. I'm just worried about our four drops. I'm still going to take it. it. It's probably just better than Spark Double at this point. Oh, Celestial Colonnade. Nice. And if, like, Gideon Jura or Dissolve comes back, I think I'll be fine. Uh, this is a card I want to take and I want to play with, but I'm also like, well, it's four mana and does nothing in this particular deck, so that's cool. Take Oblivion Ring. I want to take Scarab God, but again, like, <laughs> can't just be real, can't, can't really be four colors here, I don't think. I'm just going to take Oblivion Ring. It's probably better than Conclave Tribunal, so. Some of these packs are really jarring. Like, I'm like, oh my god, these three in a row, I'm just like, what is this, Massacre? Realm Club Giant? Sword of War and Peace? I'm like, it's just kind of hard to, like, <laughs> visualize what some of these cards are. Because you're just not used to the, the alternate arts in this cube, especially when they're all, like, right next to each other. I think Giant's actually pretty good. I agree with you. Ooh, Hollowed Fountain is pretty good. So is Narset, but we're not playing any Leovolds or... Not Leovold, uh, Time Twister or Time Spiral, so I'm just going to take the fixing in our predominantly three-color deck. Mentor of the Meek is actually pretty decent here. I think it's Mentor. I'll take a Mentor. Are we a mentor deck? I don't even know. Who knows, you know? I also kind of like Spellskite just because we do have a bunch of Planeswalkers, so it's a nice blocker and it also redirects things. Is it like, is it low-key Spellskite here? Oh man, eight seconds. I think it's, I think it's Mentor. <laughs> like, Mentor is just a win condition. I think Spellskite's great, I just don't think it's the pick there. Can we get some new history of Benali art? Because that'd be cool. Nothing in this pack really speaks to me. I'll just take history. Oh, the Clifftop Retreat came back. That's what Father likes. We're not a luck. I'll take the sword, actually. If we can, we could possibly even... Oh, Gideon came back? That's great for us. Um, We could possibly... Oh, Clive from Person here. This is pretty good. These wheels are pretty nice. I was going to say we could possibly get Stoneforge Mystic. I only tried to say it like 40 times. Narset came back. That's kind of cool. Still looking for Fellow of Our Guardian. I'll put Saheli around the sideline until that happens because I don't think she's good enough to just like play by herself, unfortunately. Mystic Snake. Well, that makes me sad that I'm not playing green right now. Are we an approach deck? Windswept Teeth also gets Hollowed Fountain. I also kind of like Pact and Metamorph. I wonder if Approach comes back. 
I feel like I want to be approaching. I'm doing it. I don't even care. Wow, we could have taken Euro into Primeval Titan. I mean, I'd rather, I'd almost rather ditch the red cards for that, but we have Clifftop Retreat, and now we can have Sacred Foundry. So I'm just taking the Fixing Land here. And if the Windswept Heath comes back, it's pretty good. That's that's a spicy meatball. I'm hoping Time Warp comes back, but for now we're going to take the combo piece. Glacial Fortress? I mean, I'm not opposed to having our fixing be really good. I also like Chandra. But double red on turn four is not exactly where I want to be. Uh, I think we're just taking Glacial Fortress here. We do need five more playables, but we can just put Narset and one of the two clones in. Yeah, I think I just want to make sure my mana is as good as possible. Island and Mountain. I don't love this pack. It might just be Storm's Wrath. I think Elspeth is probably a little better for us. I don't think we're going to play it yet. Four damage, excess damage dealt to the controller. Nahiri. Nahiri's actually pretty decent. She does get rid of enchantments, artifacts, and or creatures. Some people forget that. Where's the darn cat? It's right here. We already got it. Yeah, I want to take Nahiri here. Oh, Elspeth Conquer's death seems fantastic. Another Sahili. Not exactly what we're looking for. Sphinx's Rev seems fine, right? This pack's pretty unimpressive. I'm just going to take the, uh, the Dragon Lord Targa. No, 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 no. Um, we'll take Sweltering Suns. It's a it's a sweeper if we need it. I do kind of like Kitchen Finks here, actually. Is this a card we can also combo with? No. Because it has to blink the Sahili and this guy just untaps it. Let's take Kitchen Finks. Thassa, every turn, blink a Venser, or Glow Lunger. Yeah, I'll just take a Thassa. Yeah, Storm's Wrath, sure. This is 22 cards. We need one more card. drop for sure spark double does have some nice targets actually we'll try a spark double it's a lot of four drops and like because you don't have signets and things you end up with so few two drops hmm <laughs> So these three cancel each other out. You're a white card. All right, so we got four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot of white, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six. 
We only have one. I do want seven here. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 9, Yeah, talismans would be fine too. I think we can go to six. All right, let's see what happens here. Is sword not better than approach? They're two. Wait, I mean, I'm not sure which mean. They're two totally different cards. Why is sword good? This isn't this isn't the Nahiri that like makes tokens and but equips things. Plus, approach is like one of our win conditions. Yeah, this is just the old school Nahiri. This is the one that like excels an enchantment and artifactor and an creature. Um, sure. We'll do a little keepsy. I mean, approach is our win combo. We still have like the Sealy combo. We still have like Gideon Jura, Inferno Titan, things like that. So. Ooh, that's. That's a nice turn four. I mean, if we hit one land, then we're golden. Fair. Fair play. Well, I can't daze us. Get rid of that mana guy. Also, Nahiri on the board uh, helps us find a fifth land. Which we do not need to do. Don't have anything good. We're going to cryptic command this. Spell pierce. Uh... I mean, Elspeth getting back either of these so far is pretty decent. Matthew, I love you, buddy. I appreciate your friendship. Pretty, 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 pretty good. This feels weird and modern. Like, when I think of the modern cube, I don't just think of cards that are legal, like, that are printed within the modern time frame. I think of cards that are like modern feel and bribery is not a modern card. No one plays this in modern. We could Elspeth Conqueror's Death this, but I actually think it's better to venture it because then we just get it back, so. Uh, we can actually wrath. This destroys non-giants and this is a giant. So take it easy, Twitch chat. Tried to do a paper draft today, but I wasn't willing to sit in the basement with seven other guys while they smoked pot and not a mask to be seen other than mine. You know? I can appreciate that. I'm actually not going to discard anything. I think her hand is very good. <laughs> can you imagine if I did, I did play Rome, if I did play cast off and I was just like, uh, kill all the non-giants. And then like my own Inferno Titan just lives and you're like, 
Oh, this is awkward. <sighs> so we didn't see anything except for like literal bribery and um What's the other card? Spell Pierce. Oh, and Avison's Pilgrim, I guess. And Walking Ballista. Okay, okay, we, we saw a few cards. Jeez. You guys are real critical. This guy every game. Every game with this little nerd. Well, we have plenty of lands to discard for our Champion of Wits, which is nice. I was thinking of cutting Titan, actually. I was actually going to go back and do it, but then I hit Submit too quickly, so... You know. Like you do. See, now, do we even Lava Coil this thing? I don't know. I didn't criticize you. You ain't Microsoft. Touche. Uh, I'm going to kill him now because we do have Faith's Fetters. And it could be their only source of white. I don't even know if they're a white deck. Who knows? Oh man, the camera's doing thing. There we go. Man, where's Kerwit? If you if if how, how do I know if uh can you guys let me know if the camera's blurry when it does that? They are a white deck. They keep up spell pierce. That's pretty cool. Jokes on you, buddy. Um, we'll discard a... I think we just got two lands here. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we have plenty of time to find more answers. Next time we can play Kitchen Finks. We still have two of these things. This guy's also a great 7 drop when you want to just draw 2 cards. Well, draw 4, discard 2, so. Ah, oh, boy. Yep. We're going to use Oblivion Ring instead of Face Fetters because if they have a way to deal with it, Face Fetters would just let them keep attacking us. Um, but if they have a way to deal with Oblivion Ring, we get it back, so. Plus, we can also probably find a way to we can like bounce our own Oblivion Ring with Venser if we get a Venser, and then <laughs> that's a nice little trick. Dan's wants to tell you that she had a Choco Choco Latini, and she's very tipsy. Tell Dan's that I said. I love her as well, and you're both wonderful. Oh my god, that would have been a great draw. If we had a mana. Joke's on you, Franklin. Joke is on you. I'm pretty sure we just pass. I don't play Kitchen Finks when we have mana leak. Interesting. They did nothing. Can we just draw one? <laughs> so bad. Land. Mentor. Eh. They have four cards. I'm just going to keep passing here. Like, it's an awkward situation, but I think we have to Sphinxes for one here. I mean, they probably have Spell Pierce in hand, right? The 
They're like, this shit's desperate. Tarifi. JC. Yeah, never discard lands, I guess, is the real the real lesson to be learned. Five cards in hand. Wild. Well, I guess we'll try. I, I'm pretty sure this is just going to be big fat spell pierce in our face. Yeah, the surprise of no one. I mean, if we get a land, we can go face fetters, keep up. Mana leak, but when they have four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten mana, it's not really as good. Here comes Crater Huff. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I don't have a second sweeper, so I'm just gonna scoop after that. That's pretty wild. I mean, we missed fifteen land drops, so. Sure. Let's hit red Sahili Rai. How about that? Okay, we're halfway there. <laughs> Living on a prayer, take my hand. Ooh, suspending search. Can you imagine if that was a ceiling eye? I would have done table flipped. Well. It's going to be real awkward if the first spell we get we play this game is Teferi. However, if they go bribery, we go Teferi, Tuck, Inferno, Titan. It's not terrible. Has Subway offer offered Sahili Rai? <laughs> uh, Supreme Verdict is not a card John Fickle designed for winning a tournament. They could, there is a card John Fickle designed for winning a tournament. It was Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Similar, but different. Alpha Wolf, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna be honest, man. Spell Pierce is kicking my ass this this match. Hmm. I'm definitely not just running a Teferi out into their two mana, one of which is blue, and they have seven cards and haven't played anything. I think we're just going to Sphinx's Road for two here. It's not super exciting, but gains us two. That's really the exciting part. Whisperwood. Oh look at God! This is this is obnoxious.
They are going to... Three in a row. Three for three on spell pierces. Seems good. The problem is we just have to get rid of this guy. Maybe we should have played Filter Guardian and then just blinked a land and then killed this. I could definitely see that being better. I mean, you definitely sacrifice it. Like, you're not going to... Or you pack of negation to keep it. Okay. Because then if we top deck Celiari... Well, that's just going to be sad. Interesting. Now the card they rejected from John was called Lek Lekniffs. Oh, it's like a backwards Finkel or something like that on top of Wrath thing and can't be counted on tab four lands. Fuck out of here, John. <laughs> Jesus. Acidic slime. Yep, that is unfortunate. We kind of want a Lightning Helix of this because we can block this guy. We can't block this guy, and I really don't think this is anything. I feel like they always have infinite cards in hand, and they always have more, like three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. We have four lands, three cards. They have seven lands, five cards, and I don't really know how from like one compulsive research. Sure. And now they're tapped out, but we can't do anything about it, so. Oh my god, Lightning Helix! It's a Lightning Helix off the top! <sighs> yep, yeah, might as well. It's also turn eight, and we haven't. We've hit five land drops. One, two, three, five, six. They've hit six on including the search. Well, there's a breeding pool in the graveyard, so they discarded one. And I also played one more. So let's minus the one from the the search for more in the graveyard. They've hit every land drop they've needed. We have missed three. So, and the only thing they've played was compulsive research, which they discarded a land too. So it's. You know. <sighs> Sounds good. We're definitely just going to tap free here. They have three power on the board. <laughs> cool. Fucking incredible. Ah. <sighs> Sphinx is rare for two? Nah. Teferi for, for for five? Nah. I got a bunch of sensors. Yeah, this is why I don't like Spark Double. Like, I mean, 
I know it seems obvious, but it's a very win more card. Like, if you don't have a creature on board, then you don't get to do anything. Which is why cards like Phyrexian Metamorph are at a premium, because they can copy anything. And, you know, like copying this duplicate would be great here. Because then I can exile this manifest. We still don't have a second blue, so we have quite a few dead draws, like Venser, uh, the other Teferi. <laughs> oh, good times. God, Face Fetters doesn't even do anything against this. That's insane. Yep, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, Face Fetters is actually trash in this format, it feels like. Okay. So I guess, again, we're losing this match. <sighs> I have one card in hand, five power. See, so Ride dies immediately. I mean, we're literally just hoping to draw <laughs> Realm Cloak Giant. It's like our one out to infinite duplicates. I guess we could try to kill this. Whatever the original one is. Can't even cast it. Cool. Alright, let's just go to the next match. Arctic Avenger, have a good night, buddy. Yep, that does nothing. That does nothing. All right. Wow, I thought our deck was great after game one. And then our opponent was like, no, nah, just kidding. I have <laughs> I have actual cards to play while you get mana screwed. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, cool. My bad. Like, I almost think Conclave Tribunal is better than Faith Setters because getting the creature off the board is extremely relevant. But the life gain is good, so fuck if I know, dude. All right, well. Yeah, actually, Clever Impersonator is probably better than Spark Double. Like, by a significant margin. Like, I think if this if the Clever Impersonator was the Spark Double, um, I don't think we lose that game. We just steal Progenitor. We steal the Cobb, the Colony Boy. <sighs> good times. Sure, no, no blue? Sounds good. Sounds good. Guess we'll get rid of Gideon. Well, they went to five, but they're on the draw, so. Fingers crossed we can cast our spells this game. It's not looking good, even though we have like eight sources of blue. Hey, we did it. What a surprise. I'm going to leak that thing. <laughs> Let's play champion. Well, we're definitely getting rid of... I think it's just land land here. I know it's greedy. But we have a Venser. And any land lets us cast Realm Cloak Giant. I think all three of these cards are great. I'm just going to block here. This guy's going to die anyway if we cast Realm Cloak Giant, so... I mean, now they can just play their land, get the blood gas back, but... Also, the closer we are to 10... 
Wow. Um, two, three, four, five. Didn't we learn a lesson about drawing lands? No, we don't learn those lessons. Yeah, but we are going to get punished for it again, so. Look, guys, I'm just grateful that this isn't a rat giant. Oh, they are going to make a rat, though. Oh, this is wonderful. I mean, it's wonderful given that we draw land here. Now we're feeling good. Hmm. I see. Temporary master of time. So face fetters doesn't do anything. I'm tempted to just bitter blossom. I'm just bounce this thing. So I'll play Teferi, right? Uh, let's get rid of face fitters. I mean, this pretty much helps us hit our land drops, that's for sure. Okay, we're at 10, so I'm not too concerned with that. Get rid of Venser here. No, I think Venser is more versatile than the Lightning Helix. And now we can just play this fat idiot. And next time we get to play Giant, so that's okay. Okay, well, we knew that was going to happen. There was no way that guy survived. Oh. Um. Seven, seven, when they are in top deck mode. Does not have trample, though, so they could just block with whatever fairy they have. They could also just top deck a removal spell. Yeah, I was actually thinking maybe we should have championed last turn. Yeah, that was a that was a mis misplay on my part. Mm-hmm. Felidar Guardian. I mean I guess you can blink a land and let us invent her too. Or we can just, actually, we can play Venser Felidar Guardian. That seems better. We could also have Venser bounce our Realm Cloak Giant and wipe the board again. 
which is actually pretty good. No blocks. I kind of like that actually. Oh, I like it even better now. Oh, it's a giant. Wow, that's a giant. Oh, God, fucking amazing. That's really frustrating. And it doesn't really counter it, unfortunately. This is so bad, dude. Titan. Uh, I mean, like, literally, unless we just top decks the Heliori. I'm actually just gonna bounce this. Like at the, at the very least, this guy at least blocks Grave Titan. <sighs> Sphinx's revelation or Sahelia. I'm really like I think a big misplay was this guy. He digs us four deep. Like we didn't need this guy on the board at the time. We could have just been content with the four four. Yeah, that's brutal. Yep. Jump block with a zombie. Yep. That's really frustrating. turn so that's cool so let's make sure, sure we draw another land one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve lands one two three four five six seven eight eleven spells seems good again i think conclave tribunal is better like getting the creature off the board like getting bitter blossom off the board is just better than really discouraging Two planeswalkers. Yep. Two planeswalkers in my hand, they play a vampire fucking X Maid. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't make this stuff up dude 
Oh my god. It's just wild. White source? No, red source. Six red sources in the deck. We draw three of them. And trade Vampire for Jace. Yeah, that seems fine. That's what we're kind of hoping you would do. Champion of Wits. Probably just going to get rid of this third mountain. And then we can figure out what else we're... Uh, I actually love the alternate arts. It's kind of funny that you don't. Uh, fuck, another, another island. The problem is we can cast everything in our hand. So I'm just going to get rid of the other island, too. Uh, look, two, two, two answers for, the, for two planeswalkers. It's very good. Cool. Yep. <laughs> so I can't. Uh. It's fantastic. That's uh, just fantastic. I think approach is a little ambitious here. So is these are good games. These are good games. Now here I can get rid of this. So we're definitely keeping that. tribunal you know what it doesn't even matter like if we don't have anything to play we can still play mana leak next turn clever and person here is good for things like grave titan that realm cloak giant can't handle nahiri can get rid of this if we draw a white the problem is we're at 12 and we're already so far behind that like And just to be clear, discarding these, there's nothing that five or six mana would allow us to cast in this hand that the four we have doesn't. Yeah, okay. <sighs> this has been a fun series of matches, guys. One match we get absolutely manhandled by fucking spell pierce and censor. The other one, our opponent mulligans to oblivion, but still gets the perfect draws. So, you know, good times. Modern cube is fun. It has to be my least favorite cube. I can't think of a cube. Legacy cube is better. Vintage cube is better. I think modern cube is actual trash. But someone left me a YouTube comment and it was pretty discouraging. And they were like, "If you're not if you're not winning, you're you think the format's terrible." And I'm like, "Well, I think the format's terrible because of valid reasons that I have. And those reasons are are, in my opinion, you know, sometimes things that contribute to my losses for sure." I mean, that's just how that works. Let's see if we can one two this piece of shit <laughs> like it's just not i don't know i'm just not enjoying it like I, I keep trying it i'm like let me try it again let me see if maybe this time it's gonna be real good and it's not like say what you will about the vintage cube like the fact is if your opponent gets a pretty sick draw right like if they have like four creatures out in the modern cube 
you have to be playing a color with a sweeper. In the vintage cube, you could literally combo off on them. You could take another turn. You could snap back, do a thing, do another thing. Like, there's tons of play. You have tons of different options and things you can do. Like, in the modern cube, you're just kind of like, well, I guess I lose? Yeah, I've also heard bad things about Omnath, unfortunately. See, and of course, round three, this is where, like, we get the perfect... I'm actually just going to keep that up. Right? Yeah, because we don't have any real answers in our hand right now, except for Realm Cloak Giant. So, like, if they resolve something really good... Then we just don't have a way to deal with it other than Realm Cloak Giant. But if they play, like, a Chandra here, like, I don't want to have to compete with that when we can just wait two turns and <clears throat> red red blue blue just another blue yeah I mean, we're both gonna have eight i'm just gonna discard one sure oh wait fudge Okay. And of course they have is it fucking charm. <laughs> I'm losing to such terribles, dude. It's so bad. I'm losing to Is it Charm Sensor and Spell Pierce in like all three games. All three games are round one opponent has spell pierce, so I guess I'll just play my my three drops on turn five. You know, what can you do? It's not doing anything. I'm not really sure I understand what's going on. I mean, I'm really cycling through here. All right, well. Seven cards to seven cards. I have one more land and two more planeswalkers on board. Yeah, I don't care about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Glenny. And we'll draw. If it's a land, we'll loot with Nahiri. It's not. So we're just going to plus and then not actually activate here. I think our hand is probably pretty good. So. Thank you. T Ravis. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Is this your. Okay, so they're probably just Splinter Twin. Without the twin. Kiki Jiki on Dread. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty good. I mean, we do have several answers for that, but. Both at Nahiri. Sounds good. I'm actually just going to keep everything here. I think we're at a point where we can just draw a card with Jace. I'm not super concerned with Jace right now.
In what way is the cube modern? It's hardly minimalist. Um, I mean, like they get to scry too if we don't let it if we don't let it if we let it resolve. Like I can't see a reason to let this resolve. We only get one activation. There's nothing we're going to use the mana for. So. Like, if they want a two-for-one themselves, that's totally fine. Yep. I mean, I think we're definitely at a Realm Cloak Giant turn. Maybe. Hmm. I'm just going to pass here. We can also just approach with a second sun. Yeah, let's approach before we Realm Cloak. So it's 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Sun after we Nahiri. Let's discard. Probably Oblivion Ring here. Well, I was hoping for a land. I would have definitely discarded this. Alright. Well, we can just Sphinx's Rev. T-Rav is 34 months, man. Really appreciate the support, my dude. Uh, five mana Ral, huh? Okay, you got it. Well, they are going to kill Nahiri. But we get to get... Teferi back. <sighs> yep. And then we can also Realm Cloak Giant here. Loyalty counter. <laughs> I like that it asks you. You want to put a loyalty counter on this guy? One, two, three, four. So we can go. So we're at six. Draw a card. We are at five. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, all the cards in our hand are, uh, okay. Plus four, plus four. They have one card in hand, so they have to play around to approach of the second sun with one card. Here comes a Titan of some sort. Kiji, he killed Teferi. Wow, that's pretty impressive, actually. The perfect fucking hand. <laughs> Oh boy. I mean, we're, we're still fine. I, I think I get frustrated at elegant solutions like this when you have zero cards in your hand and the last two cards in your hand you're able to cast and play perfectly to kill my six loyalty planeswalker. I think I just get discouraged about stuff like that. Like, I don't think it's game winning. They're not, like, crushing me because of it. You know, I just think it's discouraging. I'm just like, wow, that was exactly what you should have. Uh, we do kind of want to just Faith Sweaters this guy. Oh, we're just going to win the game. Okay, well, that's also a... I actually wonder if Thing in the Ice is good in this deck. I have not really seriously considered it. 
Uh, we'll keep. I know a drunk. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Wow. If we ever get a looter effect, we have a full grip full of lootable cards. Okay. Did I kill that thing? Not now. Not today. Oh boy. Oh, what up, Haji boy? You ever get called Hodge Poolashi? Because Poo? Team J, bro, what is up? Jonathan, I have a question for you. The last cube, I don't even know if you're here. If I don't know if you're here enough to, to hear my question out. Let me know. Aether Sphere Harvester. When I think modern, guys, I think of Aether Sphere Harvester. Okay. I get called Hodge Pulashi more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. You've already admitted it. I know all your secrets. Hmm. They have one card in hand. I mean, I'm just killing this guy now. And next time we can play Gijin? Sure. No, they haven't played anything. I mean, do I play around? I'm playing this guy because let's play around Is It Charm. Why not? At least as much as we can. They have two cards in hand. Flame spell, sure. Interesting. Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna use this to crew. Oh, they're gonna crew and we're gonna get in during and kill this thing. That's pretty cool. I guess they do still have Izzet Charm up, so assuming that's But I need to learn to be better at cubing and everything. What advice have you? Also, what insights? Are you I, I can't. I feel like you're trolling me right now, and I don't appreciate it. Oh, they did not. Okay, well, that's something. Um, so so Jonathan, listen, listen. Here's the question. Previously, for the previous cube, it was a Sunday, and you had twenty four trophies. Cube went up on Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You had five days, right? 24 trophies. That's roughly four trophies a day. That's four cube drafts a day you were doing. Not including whatever cube drafts you might have lost. So let's say maybe you lose one a day. Maybe. That's five drafts a day. Where do you find the time as a husband with a child to do five cube drafts a day and a job and a job let's not forget i don't understand it like i'm genuinely curious about your work schedule like your workload your 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 streaming things because that is just a wild amount of time to devote to cubing with all the other things that i know you have on your plate you know Okay. So what happens here is we get to go clever impersonator, copy Chandra, use Gideon, attack Chandra. Hmm. Um, 
let's play land. Exile. It's going to be Sahili Rai. It was a mountain. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. The J-Bro bot <laughs> fills in and cube drops and the J-Bro is busy. That's an amazing robot. Well, Thunder My Hellkite's a real thing. Oh, they attacked the Gideon. One, I have been quarantined and can't march anywhere because of my new kid. Two, I can do it while I'm on the conference calls, doing emails, some meetings, etc. Three, that was the best cube I've even played as far as my trophy per match rate. I have 27 trophies in six days. I have my son. Okay. That makes sense. John, would you say so it's so you would say that you don't you don't stream every cube you win? Because I, I, I stream like every cube draft I do. So is that is that is that correct that you do, you you just you just run cubes even when you're not streaming is what you're saying? I don't know why I didn't consider that an option. Um let's play this. Okay. That's good to know. And good to know in the sense of like I didn't understand. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, because I was, I was like, how the fuck does he have 26, 24 trophies, dude? Um, I guess we're actually, I think attacking with Gideon's probably better here, right? Well, zero Gideon. Get in there. Play Jace. One, two, three. Let's draw a card. One, two, three, four. Blink Gideon. And kill the Shriek Maw. And by Shriek Maw, I mean Thunder Maw. All right, one, two is what I'm suspecting in this cube. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklaportmanagers.com, coolstuffinc.com, and nordvpn.org slash franklaport. You'll get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one free month, and it's a good deal, so definitely check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.